Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Well, the signs are there of that warmth and humidity coming on in. We've been seeing mist, drizzle, and fog break out here across the region tonight. Temperatures are already rising. We've already been at our coolest part of the night here. It's only up from here, now 55 in Champaign. That southeast wind at 9 mile an hour continues to bring the warm air in. Already in the 60s in Effingham. We will wake up in the 60s tomorrow morning. Area wide here. Could be some showers after midnight, maybe a few rumbles of thunder after 6 a.m. And those temperatures continue to head to the mid to upper 60s into the afternoon. Could be some storm activity in the morning, another chance then in the afternoon here. And with temperatures where they are, it's warm out there for the high 67 in Danville, 66 in Champaign, 67 in Springfield and in Taylorville. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather out for tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on things here. There's still a few boxes we need to check to make our severe weather threat happen, but if things do materialize, I can't rule out a couple of tornadoes. Could be some strong wind gusts with any storms, also some quarter size hail, and we've got two different rounds. We've got a morning round and we've got an afternoon round to watch here, so we'll be watching both of those periods. The easiest thing to do, let's just walk through it on future track together. Why don't we here again? Some light showers overnight tonight. I think we'll sleep just fine. Temperatures are warming. We'll watch tomorrow morning about 7, 8 in the morning. I think there could be a few scattered storms here. Lincoln, Bloomington, Pontiac, Watsiki, the best chance to see that. A lot of us are having a quiet morning out there. And that morning round could bring some large hail with it here. Looks like it's on the edge of our area, but we'll keep a close eye on it here. Once we get to about 11 a.m., if there happen to be any lingering storms to the north, that may allow for the tornado threat to start to slowly climb here. But I don't think it's going to be a big deal in the morning. I think the afternoon is the more interesting time for that here. 1230, a little break. In between and then our cold front comes and that's where we'll see these storms try and develop here still some question marks if they can tap in with instability being low at this point but the dynamics are very favorable here so 4 35 6 o'clock that line finally clearing on through and again if any one of these storms is able to be a little stronger tap into things that's where that risk for maybe a tornado or two will happen so the energy again that morning round doesn't have a lot of surface energy the afternoon round doesn't either here there's just enough there where we could get a storm or two going. There's plenty of wind shear though, so if that happens, those storms could spin pretty quick here. That's why there's a three out of 10 for our tornado risk. And if the instability looks like that it may come a little higher than expected, that could bring our risk up a bit. So I'll be cautious on that. That may not happen until midday tomorrow if it plays out here. This is one of those events where you just have to watch things here because that afternoon threat is a little conditional. What would prevent this from being a bigger deal and what may end up preventing it from being a bigger deal? First off, our big trough right here, but you'll notice this branch of the jet stream down to the west. That has been pumping in some warmer air at the mid levels of the atmosphere, about one to two miles up. And that's putting a lid on things here. If that warm air can hold the instability down aloft, then we don't have a big of a deal here. But we'll just see how that shakes out. Very fine line from mild to maybe a little wild out there tomorrow. Here's where it really is wild though. Check out our future track. We're in the 60s ahead of that front. Look how fast we drop off. It's in the 30s there and by 8, 9, 10 p.m. Most all of us should be below freezing, quickly dropping to the teens for lows by Monday morning. That's going to bring some problems of its own. Any moisture on pavement likely to freeze. Could be some black ice and those untreated surfaces and that's something that we'll watch here. I'll call for low travel impacts once those temperatures drop below freezing. It's not a widespread problem. But we'll just have to keep an eye on things there. And then this is the other thing is the wind. Those wind chill values really dropping off by the 10 o'clock news tomorrow. Lots of us in the single digits for wind chill values. We're heading below zero then into Monday morning. That wind is strong too. wind advisory in effect after the front blows on through Sunday afternoon, Sunday night through the day on Monday. And some of those wind gusts could be quite strong here. 50 to 60. Again, this is after the front. That's not with the storms that's in place. That wind brings in colder air. Our highs drop quickly from 66 tomorrow to 22 on Monday. We're back to winter for the forecast here after we get through the system tomorrow. 53 tonight is our low. We've already been there. Temperatures are warm and come here on out. The seven day forecast Sunday's the active day here again. There's some strong storm potential in place, still conditional. We'll watch it and see how that evolves. Then the front comes through. That's a given. It's going to drop quick here. You might be a little surprised by how strong that front is with the winds picking up, that cold air blowing on in. You know, if we're at 66 there Sunday afternoon and by Monday morning below zero, that's almost a 70 degree swing in what it'll feel like out there. Could be some snow showers on Wednesday, maybe even a little bit for, to the north on Monday. We'll worry about that once we get past the system tomorrow. A lot happening to end 2025. Well, you might be busy tomorrow. Maybe a little bit. Uh, and even if we're not, we'll be here watching just in case something happens. Sounds good. Thank you, Jacob.